Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today I present to you a new concept, the quickie, which will allow me to release short video, tip video very regularly on all subjects. This will be short video, but will present you a lot of tricks that can be very interesting for you. Of course, there will always be big video on very cool project, but this concept allow me to be more present on the channel and maybe at the same time give you tips that you may not know. Ok, we start right now with the tricks that allow you to assign in Typeflow several complex textures on the same mesh or different ones. As usual, the project and the 3D model of this iPhone Pro Max is available on my Patreon. Ok, let's go. Ok, so here I have a very simple Typeflow setup with folding iPhones. If I go in shape, you can see here the model I used, as well as animation in the viewport. I will now launch a render to see what we have. Ok, so we have here clean rendering with a grey iPhone. That's cool, but what we would like for this example is to have different models or iPhone colors. If I open the material editor to see our textures, we can see that I have here a complex texturing with different IDs for a grey color iPhone and next to the same material but with a gold color. Usually the method to do this effect would be to create a material sub-object with a number of two slots and I will link my first texture to slot 1 and the second, the gold to slot 2. After that I can just apply this texture to my Typeflow 1. Create a material ID operator to run the mod and set the max to value of 2. This is generally how we assign two different textures to our setup. I will now run a render to see what happens. And we can see that we have a problem here. The textures are very badly applied. This is not what we want. But why? If we go back to the material editor, we can see that we have here an ID 1 and 2 included in the IDs of our gold texture. And it's the same for the grey texture here. We could eventually change all the IDs in the model and texture, but this is a waste of time. What we are going to do is much faster. I will first delete this sub-object deselect Typeflow and here I have my different iPhone models. You can see that I have my two iPhone with one grey and one gold. The idea is in first place to correctly texture the object that you want to import. Of course you can have totally different objects, it's not a problem. And once your objects are created, we return to Typeflow. I no longer need the material ID and everything will be done in the shape operator. So, I go in shape operator, you can see here the model that I used, we can duplicate it because we don't have a different model in our scene. I will now go down in the menu and go to instance material and select send material. I now only have to open my material editor and link my material for the grey iPhone in the empty slot. I will now do the same for the second shape. But this time, I choose my gold material. The next step is not necessary, but uh, if you have any problem, it will fix everything. You just have to go to shape and select render instance. But you can already see everything is working fine with triangle mesh. I will now choose an interesting frame and launch a rendering. And we see that our textures are perfectly applied. We have our two iPhone with two complex textures based on IDs. It's perfect. You can of course add the number of objects you want. I can maybe here duplicate my iPhone here. And if I want a short texture, go to the editor. Select here a purple texture for example. And put it here in the slot. Launch another rendering. And we see that everything works perfectly. It's great. Ok guys, so that is for this short tutorial, I hope it was useful to you. Don't forget to thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. And you can of course find the full scene of this project on my Patreon. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram or Beyond. See you soon for next tutorial guys, bye.